The Dominion of Canada was formed on July 1, 1867, following a series of negotiations and compromises between the British government, the province of Canada, compromising present-day Ontario and Quebec, Nova Scotia, and New Brunswick. The creation of the Dominion was a response to several internal and external factors that shaped Canadian history and influenced its territorial expansion. One internal factor, or a factor from within Canada, was the desire of the province of Canada, particularly its French Canadian population, for greater representation and autonomy within the British Empire. The province of Canada had experienced political and cultural tensions between its English-speaking and French-speaking populations, and there were calls for reforms to address these divisions. The idea of a federal system of government, in which power would be shared between the central government and individual provinces, was seen as a way to balance the interests of various groups. This was largely due to the fact that the country was formed from two distinct colonial cultures, British and French. French-speaking Canadians, known as Canadiens, were concentrated in Quebec, while English-speaking Canadians were concentrated in Ontario and other regions of the country. Another internal factor was the economic potential of the territories to the west of the province of Canada. The discovery of gold in the Fraser River in British Columbia in 1858 and in the Yukon in 1896, as well as the growth of the fur trade and the railway industry, created new opportunities for economic growth and expansion. This led to a desire to unify the colonies and territories into a larger political entity that could better capitalize on these economic opportunities. One of the key changes to realizing this economic potential was the lack of infrastructure in the region. Roads and railways were few and far between, making it difficult to transport goods and people. In response, the government invested heavily in building infrastructure, including the construction of the Canadian Pacific Railway, which connected the eastern and western coasts of the country. Indigenous peoples also played a role in shaping the development of Canada during this time. The treaty signed with Indigenous nations in the late 19th century allowed for the expansion of settlement and industry in the West, but often at the expense of Indigenous sovereignty and self-determination. The Métis, a distinct group of people with both Indigenous and European ancestry, played a key role in the Red River Resistance of 1869 to 1870, which ultimately led to the creation of Manitoba. Today, Indigenous peoples continue to play a critical role in Canadian society, advocating for their rights and sovereignty and working to preserve their cultural heritage and traditions. External factors, or factors from outside of Canada, also played a significant role in the creation of the Dominion of Canada and its territorial expansion. One such factor was the threat of American expansionism, particularly following the American Civil War. Many Canadians feared that the United States would seek to annex Canadian territories, or that American economic and cultural influence would undermine Canadian independence. The formation of the Dominion of Canada was seen as a way to strengthen Canadian sovereignty and protect against American encroachment. Ultimately, Canada's efforts to counter American expansionism were successful, and the country was able to maintain its independence and sovereignty. However, the threat of American annexation continued to loom over Canada throughout the late 19th and early 20th centuries, and played a key role in shaping Canadian foreign policy and relations with the U.S. for decades to come. Another external factor was the desire of the British government to reduce its financial and military commitments to North America. The British government had been providing financial and military support to its North American colonies for decades, and was looking for a way to reduce its costs and responsibilities. The formation of the Dominion of Canada allowed the British government to maintain a presence in North America while reducing its financial and military commitments. In conclusion, the creation of the Dominion of Canada and the expansion of its territory were influenced by a range of internal and external factors, including political tensions, economic opportunities, contributions by Indigenous peoples, external threats from the United States, and shifting imperial priorities. Understanding these factors is crucial to understanding the historical context in which Canada emerged as a nation and to appreciate the complex forces that have shaped its development over time. Now here's a challenge for you. You'll be participating in a jigsaw activity to further research one of the internal or external factors that played a role in the creation of the Dominion of Canada from this video. And you'll conduct research to gain a deeper understanding of that factor. To do this, you'll be divided into groups with each group focusing on one of the factors mentioned in this video. Within each group, you'll work together to research and become experts about the same factor you've all been assigned together. Then, create a brief report or slideshow summarizing your factor, listing any key events related to it, and describing any key people or groups of people related to it. After you and your group members have worked together to make this report or slideshow, you'll be reorganized into new groups so that each group has at least one expert for each of the five topics. In these new groups, you'll each share about your topic and teach your fellow classmates about what you researched and learned. The topics you'll be assigned one of are the need to unite Canada's English-speaking and French-speaking communities, 
the economical potential of Canada's territories and the need to connect Canada from east to west, the role and contributions of Indigenous peoples, the threat of expansion from the United States, the desire for greater political independence from Britain. After the jigsaw activity, discuss with your whole class how these different aspects are connected and how they contributed to the creation of the Dominion of Canada and the expansion of its territory. Good luck.